Hey guys, it's Landon from Refi Horizons. This is a cab management weekly blog video that I'm gonna do that just shows you how to work with angles and bricks CAD a little bit. Surveyors are kind of funky with their angle settings, so I just want to walk you guys through that in this video. It's gonna be a short video, I think, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at how you can configure your units, your angle units and bricks CAD, um, how that allows you to um, draw angles with bearings and distances in bricks cab without having to jump out to Carlson survey. And then uh, we'll show you how you can set custom angles on your polar command, okay? All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna type units to pull up the units command, okay? So here's the units command in the settings dialog. This is bricks cab version 21, by the way. So it's not gonna look like this in AutoCAD. <laughs> it'll, it'll look different. All right, and here, here's my units, okay? Um, and, and this is a, Good reason why you want to have a template so we have a template set up for bricks cab that just has the just has a imperial units it doesn't have metric units because we don't we don't work in meters around my shop okay and so what we want to do in this list is we want to look for angular units okay so if we come down here to nope no i lost it i'm sorry um, right here angular units Okay, so we're going to click on that. So the default is decimal degrees in BricsCAD. That's no bueno, right? Surveyors don't work on decimal degrees. So we want to set this to degrees, minutes, and seconds. Okay, actually right here, surveyors units. That's what we want. Okay, so now, we're, now we've got surveyors units. Um, we do want angles to go clockwise. Okay, so uh, AutoCAD is backwards. I think the default in AutoCAD BricsCAD is backwards, but surveyors work with angles that go clockwise. Um, I think I want our angle base, we want to be north, okay. Um, so the, so that's what you're going to change. So let's see if, if that does what we want now. So I'm just curious, draw a line here and go to our properties dialog. And so you can see here angle, it actually gives me the angle in um, uh, degrees, minutes, seconds. It's only going to the nearest minute though, so I got to fix that. But it says northeast, that's the right bearing, so we got our settings right. Let's go back in there and, and fix that precision problem we're having. So right here, angular unit precision. Um, let's try four. See, yep, that looks good right there. Okay. So I didn't I didn't do that the first time. Okay, so now when we select that same line and come down here, it's it's given us our, our bearing, north 30, 1858, east. So that's awesome. Super cool if you're a surveyor. Okay, now let's just show you, once you have that set up, you can actually draw lines by bearing and, and distance in BricsCAD. It's not as easy as in Carlson Survey. Carlson Survey has some, some handy tools for that, but if you just need a couple quick lines, you can do it this way in BricsCAD. So I'm gonna run the line command, click my point. Okay, now instead of just typing in here, what I wanna do is I'm gonna come down and click on angle. Okay, and we can actually type in a bearing now. So we're gonna say north 45, then we want to say D for degree, okay? And I'm going to go 20 minutes with the minute symbol and 20 seconds with the second symbol east, okay? And then we're just going to hit enter, okay? And the length of the line, we're going to make 100, okay? And then we're just going to check that, right? So we're going to select it, come over here in the properties dialog, and we'll see the angle is north 45, 20, 20, okay? And it's 100, it's millimeters, but you guys get the idea. Okay, so that's cool. That's how you can draw bearings and distances um, in BricsCAD once you have your angle units set up properly. All right, now I just want to real quick uh, show you how you can configure your polar. Um, so we're going to just right click on the polar down here and go to settings. Okay, and um, what, what a polar will do is, is you can actually add angles here. Okay, the polar angle, right? So um, for example, we could set it to work in 15 minute increments. Okay or you can add a, a list of specific angles. I don't know why you would ever need to do that, but you can do it. Okay, but I'm just gonna change my angle increment to uh, 15 degrees. Okay, and so now if we have polar turned on, so it's on now, and we type, uh, we run the line command, or any other command that works with polar. So it, when I had it set to 90 before, it would only give me basically the four cardinal directions, but now you can see it's giving me 15 minute increments, right? So that can be handy if you're doing buildings or drafting other stuff. Um, you can get these 15 minute increments on your uh, on your polar command, right? So uh, so that's handy. So I just wanted to show you guys that. 
All right, that's basically it, guys. Just a couple quick things I wanted to show you about angles in BricsCAD. Uh, you can set BricsCAD up to work and think like an American surveyor, which is which is cool. And you can also tweak your polar settings to, to have more angles than just the default. So uh, hope that helped some folks. Uh, it was a short video, but that's all right. And uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel if you want to catch more of our CAD management weekly videos. And thanks for watching. Appreciate it, guys.